Hey guys, I'm Rhett with Section 8 Real Estate Investing. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment or question after you finish watching. All right, today we're gonna to talk about something that um, I've been asked a couple times. There's been a couple comments um, on some other videos and some questions, and I wanted to go back and answer those before we made any more videos, okay? Um, and that is, what kind of amenities are you looking for in Section 8 property? and what kind of location are you looking for? These are two questions that depend on how you want to invest, okay? Now, we'll start with amenities. As far as amenities go, in Section 8 with anything else, the number one thing you want to do is provide a good living experience for your tenants, number one. So any amenities that you would like, your tenants would like, right? Now, I understand that that is, there are limitations to that because of finances, right, and, 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 and investment goals. Um, you may like a pool, but a pool might cost 50 grand to put in, so you're not gonna put that in because then, you know, you're not gonna make your money back on that. Um, you may like a hot tub in the backyard, but, you know, maybe you don't wanna deal with the maintenance of a hot tub. Those are amenities that I understand you don't need. Um, you need appliances. Now, uh, you know, you need a stove, oven range, you need a refrigerator. We've talked a little bit about this in the past, um, some other videos, uh, but you don't need, you know, a microwave, you don't need ceiling fans, you don't need a dishwasher, you don't need a garbage disposal. Those are things, personally, I do not put in homes because they get ruined all the time, they break all the time, people put the wrong things in disposals, they break, you send somebody out, it gets fixed, $200 out of your pocket. Um, dishwashers, you know, people run them wrong, they break, the landlord's paying for that. So there's a lot of things that uh, I don't put in properties, right? Now, that doesn't mean that maybe I wouldn't want a dishwasher in mine, but at the same time, I'd rather spend another $500 on top of what I was going to spend and give my tenants a better refrigerator, uh, spend more money and give them a better oven range and stove spend more money, give them a nicer shower, right? Um, instead of putting a microwave in, uh, putting a dishwasher in, putting a washer and dryer in that I'm gonna have to change in three years because it's gonna be busted. Uh, appliances go bad all the time. I'd rather spend more money on the necessities than give more amenities that are gonna cost me more out of pocket in the short term to add them, but also in the long ter term for maintenance. Um, so that's how I feel about amenities. You know, uh, I like buying properties with carports. I like buying properties with garages for tenants because you're gonna make your money back on a garage. You might be able to get more rent for a garage. Carports are nice. Somebody with a carport loves pulling their car under a carport every night might stay there for another year or two, right? So amenities are it's kind of a give and take. The more amenities, the longer your tenants might want to stay in the property because they really like them. The less amenities, um, you know, maybe not. Maybe they go out and buy them themselves, okay? Um, so it's kind of your decision. It's what your investment goals are, but that's what I do, okay? Um, location, again, it goes back to your investment goals. Uh, you can buy, like we've talked about in other videos, right? Any property can become a Section 8 property, right? You can turn any property, and now I'm saying turning a property into Section 8. You can create, you can purchase any home and, and have Section 8 tenants. It then becomes a Section 8 rental, okay? Um, now, the location of that can be downtown New York City if you want, or it could be, uh, you know, in a, in a bad area of um, Arkansas, okay? Again, it depends on your investment goals. It depends on what cap rate you want, what kind of return you want on that investment, what kind of appreciation you want over time, right? For example, if I was gonna buy uh, you know, a, a, a property that I wanted Section 8 and I was gonna buy it in downtown San Francisco, it might cost me $5 million, okay? And um, you know, I might get Section 8 rent, 2,000 a month for that, right? That's a pretty poor cap rate, but in 20 years from now, that $5 million home might be worth 10 million, okay? So it depends on what your goals are. The same thing goes for that property in Arkansas. You wanna go in a bad area of Arkansas, 
um, you know, you might be able to buy a house for twenty thousand dollars, and it might rent for a thousand a month. That's a pretty damn good cap rate. However, in twenty-five years, that property might be worth twenty thousand dollars still. So it depends if you're looking for a cap rate with no appreciation, if you're looking for straight appreciation, if you're looking for a little bit of appreciation and still a decent cap rate. That's all on what your individual goals are as an investor. So I can't really answer those for you. I think it's good to have a little bit of both. I think it's good to have um, you know, properties that are high cap rate properties with maybe not as much appreciation. And I think it's good to have properties that you're, that are going to appreciate, um, but also have decent cap rates. I wouldn't go for properties with, you know, um, neither of those, okay? You know, bad cap rate and no appreciation, you know, ugh, that's not good. You wanna get that house in Arkansas for, for, for uh, you know, $20,000 and, and rent it out for $75 a month, I wouldn't do that, okay? Um, but again, it, it depends on you as an investor. So. When it comes to amenities and location in Section 8, those are my thoughts. Leave your questions, comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.